Hi guys, Steph here. Right, today we've got for you a rather gorgeous and rather an unknown beautiful fountain pen. Look at that beautiful colour. It actually looks even nicer than it does on this particular video. It's this lovely green and black marbling or swirls if you like absolutely gorgeous it's actually sort of got this sort of rather a shimmer to the color as well it's absolutely beautiful but what is it well what we've got for you here is a golden guinea fountain pen now the golden guinea well who made it what is it what you know what was a manufacturer that made the pen we're not quite sure it's it's a little bit of a mystery for me personally um from some of the characteristics of this pen some of the shapes etc um i personally my own opinion believe this to be maybe a platinum fountain pen now for you people that don't know sort of platinum pen company um, they started out as uh, the Mentmore Manufacturing Company and I believe they were actually the first um, or their first product that they actually launched was a self-filling fountain pen. Now I have actually seen these pens with the original box and the original box does actually say Golden Guinea self-filling pen. So this is a self-filling pen, which we'll show you in a moment. So, again, I believe this pen is made by rather Platinum or Mentmore. And again, it's just nice and simply down to certain pens that I've had in the past. Uh, they look very similar to this. But, as I say, it's a Golden Guinea fountain pen. It was made in England, we do know that. The size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, it's a nice 130 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a lovely 12 millimeters in diameter. So it's a nice sort of chunky fountain pen. Now let's have a look at the barrel imprint, which is a little bit on the worn side. So I'm hoping we may be able to see it. But you may be able to see there, it says Golden Guinea. Now the Guinea, the word itself is quite legible. Unfortunately the Golden, I think the G-O-L is actually a little bit on the worn side. So what we can see nice and simply, it says Golden Guinea. Okay, so I'm hoping that's clear for you. Let's try a little bit of a different angle but i'm hoping you can see it if not take my word it says golden guinea and again i believe it to be a platinum or even a mentmore fountain pen as we've already mentioned in this beautiful shimmering green and black swirls or marbling and you can see there it's got gold plated trim it's actually got these three lovely cap bands to the top you can see it's got a broad band in the middle and two sort of narrower bands to each side a little bit on the uh, sort of there's a little bit of plate loss on them but they're still absolutely gorgeous to the top there you can see what we term as this ball clip and again this is very reminiscent of sort of the vintage fountain pens as you can see there's no markings on the on the clip so there's no hint to who made the pen to the very top there you can see it's got this sort of yeah like a slightly peaked cap stud to the very top of the cap there all in all a stunning pen i date of the pen i'm dating it i believe i don't know maybe around about maybe 1930s maybe even later maybe 1940s but i'm going more around the 19 1930s mark but 
If this was actually, I believe a lot of the pens they made were sort of what they term as second tier pens. Um, in my opinion, by no means is this a second tier pen. It's absolutely gorgeous. The material, the quality of the pen is absolutely superb as well. As we said earlier, it's what they termed as a self-filling pen, which means that what we do, we simply unscrew the blind cap to the bottom there. And there you go, you can see it's a button filled fountain pen. Okay, again you can see everything's nice and clean, it's been fully restored, new sack fitted, absolutely gorgeous. So let's put the blind cap back on, screw that back on like so. Let's undo the cap, let's give you a couple of the customary twirls. The pen is a stunning stunning pen in my opinion absolutely gorgeous color as i say it's in in the hand it's, it seems to have this sort of like a a 3d effect and it's got some depth to it it's absolutely gorgeous now let's take you up to this section now the reason i think it may be a platinum or a meant more is this section here to me is quite familiar you can see it's got a slightly concave to it and just the general shape of it, I have actually seen these pens on platinum and uh, meant more pens before so that gives me a little bit of a hint. Now let's take you up to the nib. Now unfortunately the nib doesn't give us any clue to who made the, who made the pen. You can see it's a warranted 14 karat gold nib and again a lot of these pens that I've seen in the past had sort of slightly small nibs as this as this pen does okay but the warranted nib I mean again the warranted nibs were made for lots of different manufacturers lots of other companies use warranted nibs so you know it's nothing unusual for this for this period of pen there's a sideways view for you there let's show you the feed underneath it's got this um, what we term as a comb or ladder feed underneath there as you can see as always everything is lovely lovely and clean so as I said unfortunately there's no manufacturer's name maker's mark a lovely comfortable pen to hold again I've got large hands and it feels nice and comfortable for me to hold and to write with Bad. Yeah, I said to write with. Oh, right. Okay, so you want to see it writing. <laughs> right. Let's have a take a look. Let's bring on some ink. Let's unscrew the, the blind cap. And for you people that don't know, what we simply do is dip the nib in the ink and we press down on the button like so. So... Okay, we can see some bubbling going on. We could hear some little bit of gurgling going on as well. We don't want to fill it up completely. It's only for a writing sample. Let's pop the cap back on and let's bring on our little pad. And let's see how the pen writes. So, what we have is the... Um, how do we spell Guinea? I think it's. I think that's right. So we've got a golden Guinea fountain pen, and we're dating the pen. I'm dating it sort of around about the 1930s, maybe even through to the 1940s. Who made the pen? As we said, I believe it's a platinum pen or maybe a Mentmore. I mean, Mentmore, you know, Mentmore Platinum basically at the time was with the same company, but it's writing very nicely. 
as you can see it's writing with a fine a fine line writing very smoothly is there any flex in the nib I would say not it's quite a hard nib although writing very smoothly there's no flexibility and the pen is writing as you can see very nicely with a fine fine line so let's pop that to one side we'll flush the pen out when we've done this review and there we have it a beautiful pen gorgeous colour as I said in in normal light the pen in the hand actually looks even nicer it's this beautiful green and black marbling or swirls absolutely stunning and as I said earlier the platinum pens some of them were meant to be a second tier pen this in my opinion is not a second tier pen it's as good as any pen that you would have found in that particular period an absolutely stunning pen a pen with a little bit of a mystery behind it because we're not 100% sure who made it but as I say for my in my opinion I believe it's a platinum made around the 1930s gorgeous so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy subscribe as well subscribe to my channel and if you possibly can please down below support my work but for now I'll just say bye bye for now